So in India, like in all other countries, uh, investing in childhood immunizations has potential to reduce childhood deaths, but beyond that, there are the broader benefits of uh, of reduced disease in adulthood, uh, better cognition, uh, improved education because kids are going to be in school and so forth. And these are the pieces that we don't tend to think about when we think in terms of the value of vaccines. Uh, but saving children's lives is one aspect of it, but there are many other aspects as well. The guess is that these can be potentially large because even a few uh, percentage uh, points change in IQ of an entire population because of reduced disease in, in childhood because of fewer episodes of diarrhea it can be uh, can be tremendous and if you think of of child deaths as really being the tip of the iceberg and a lot of what goes on in child development as being the entire iceberg preventing just the child child deaths doesn't really get at what's uh, what the whole iceberg is and that's really what an important value vaccines is the trade-offs that the country would face is in terms of how much to invest in expanding coverage of existing vaccines, uh, because to get to all parts of the country, to all children, does involve a significant expense. If you were at 90 percent, do we spend the additional monies in getting to 98 and 99 percent, or do you then invest, start investing in new antigens? Uh, the answer is, well, India is obviously going to invest in new antigens as coverage levels go up, uh, but then that also raises the question of which antigens to then introduce and certainly the economic uh, metrics which, uh, which offer the best returns on any particular vaccine will drive decisions in favor of that particular vaccine.